You have said you like to do 24 hour fasts as part of your routine. Mm -hmm. I was wondering how you approach the day you decide to fast and how you choose the day and the benefits that come from it. Thanks so much. And this is from at Keegan Kayla. Yeah, cool. Thank you for asking that. Uh, 24 hour fast is something I recently incorporated consistently. I, I think I may, might have uh, done my first one about six months ago. Um, but it's something I decided to incorporate the entire month of December. The way I choose my day, uh, there was no really like I don't know, system or thought process. I, I just opted with Sundays because I thought that was the, uh, mm -hmm. this made the most sense for whatever reason. I, I really probably can't even articulate why. And um, yeah, I mean, just, I'm always looking to kind of just add tools to my toolbox. And I thought that would be something that could uh, just, just help me. And, you know, you've asked what the benefits are. I'll be honest, like I'll go, I'm going to go into the, uh, like some of the health benefits, some of the, you know, uh, benefits as it relates to not only health, but like, you know, our fitness goals. But I want to make it clear that that's not why I, I, I uh, that's not why I did it. I did it for the, I guess the, the, the reps or the impact that would have just on my mind. I mean, mm -hmm. anytime you do anything that's uncomfortable or that requires like discipline, obviously that's going to have a transcendent effect on mm -hmm. our mind. And that's why I went into, um, that's honestly why I, mm -hmm. I did it. My primary anyway. But, uh, as far as the, uh, you know, health side of things, it's just like, like, it, like your car, right? If your car is running all day, every day, mm -hmm. right? The engine's running like, it's there's going to be some wear and tear on that right you gotta you gotta you gotta like let it like you know you, you can't be maxing out your rpms all the time and expect your mm -hmm. your engine to operate at optimal levels same thing like with the body um i think that just by giving our just in turn like our digestive system sure just, just a little break just to give them a day off every yeah. once in a while mm -hmm. i think that that obviously is is is, is extremely beneficial um from a health from a health standpoint mm -hmm. um as far as like the fitness side of things anytime you fast for 18 to 24 hours or more i i think low end you know 18 is where these uh positive effects will come in. It's going to improve your insulin sensitivity, mm -hmm. right? It's going to also uh, have a, a positive effect on blood sugar levels. And basically, during a 24 hour fast, glycogen, which is the storage form of carbohydrates is depleted and insulin is reduced. And basically, this allows the body to burn mostly fat for mm -hmm. fuel. So if you know, you're doing that once a week, um, that's going to have a significant effect over the sustained long term. Yeah. And the other side of that is this, like there might be people that say, oh, well, well, after the 24 hour fast, what if you just eat everything inside and make up for the uh, previous day's calories? Well, yeah, like actually that would probably result in a wash, right? You mm -hmm. probably would not have any sort of benefit as it relates to fat loss. The interesting thing is when I break a 24 hour fast, it's normally a very small meal. You, you're you not as intensely hungry as you think you would be. So the following day when I break the fast, mm -hmm. because I, I would I would normally start fasting um, between 6 to 8 p.m. So I wouldn't have my first uh, meal to break fast until that time the following day. Right. That following day, I'm also not consuming as many calories mm -hmm. as I normally would. I might have two meals, they'll be bigger meals, mm -hmm. but I'm still consuming lower calories than I do on my days where I'm eating uh, five meals a day. Right. So it uh, it obviously you know has a positive effect in overall intake, which oh. we know that the way we lose body fat is to uh, burn more calories than we're consuming. So you know that's uh, basically, why I do it, it's helpful. Um, again, it's just another little opportunity. And for me, like 20 hour fast is nothing. That's why I never really talk about it. I'm gonna do a 72 hour fast uh, this mm -hmm. month. Yeah. Put that out there. 
Um, but for, for people like starting out, that's like a little challenge, you know, you and just, are you, are you just drinking water? Like, nothing oh yeah, it's else? a water fast. That's all I drink is water. Nothing else. But I'll put the hydro charge in the water. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, just water. Um, but yeah, for those of you guys who've never done that, like, I mean, look, just, it's a tool use it. I mean, if you don't do it every week, maybe just do it once in a while, just to get the benefits uh, on your mind, where you just take command of your mind and just discipline yourself to not eat food for 24 days. I mean, look, if, uh, you know, if somebody 24 asked, hours, 20, sorry, 24 hours. <laughs> 24 hours. If you're someone who thinks, oh, I can't go that long without eating. Yeah. I'm going to get hangry. My blood sugar is going to get low. Yeah. Let me just tell you that a man once went 382 days, count them, without food. That's great. Okay. The guy lost like 300 pounds and he, he didn't have any adverse health risks. That's really And he kept all his weight off. He gained, I think, 17 pounds. I never back. heard that. That's interesting. Yeah. I'll actually send you the link because uh, it's something I huh. revert to often and something I tell yeah. people when they're, you know, started diet. They're like, oh, I'm, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. The portions are too small. It's like, dude. But I think at some point you start to become numb to the hunger, right? It's, the hu hunger it is, a, really hard, is an dude. emotion. Hmm. It's not a feeling. It's, a, it's, a, it's an emotion that we mm -hmm. think is a feeling because yeah. of our attachment to it. And it's like, it's it's a it's a it's a mindset. When you set yourself up mm -hmm. to like eat for wellness, to look good, to feel good, just to be good, you do it to where like you know when you're eating, you you don't really eat to where you get full, and when you're um, you don't really eat till you get full, and you don't really wait till you get like super hungry to eat. That's the most efficient way to do it to to be able to stay consistent and to reduce the risk of overeating. Um, but yeah, like you know, if if a human being once went 382 days That's without crazy. any food, was able to lose 300 pounds, change his life, not have any health risks. Like, listen, like surely not only can you, you know, do a 24 hour fast, mm -hmm. but you can discipline yourself to practice proper portion control, eat the right foods, right? Not overeat, eat a ton of, like, it's just, it's just a mindset. And we know things like that are possible. Mm -hmm. It hopefully will uh, adjust our perspective mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, make us realize that we could all do a little better. Yeah.